today I'm going to show you how we make pumpkin puree and we're going to use a couple pumpkins that we grew in our own garden. Now you're probably saying this isn't a pumpkin but it actually is because a pumpkin is just a type of squash and there are several different squashes that work really well to make things like pumpkin pie, pumpkin soup, pumpkin muffins, things like that. Really anything that uh, you use pumpkin puree for, you can use several different types of squashes. This one is known as the jumbo pink banana squash or pumpkin, you can call it. Um, and it's a little bit orange because these ones we've had to ripen indoors. The ones that we were able to ripen outdoors, they're actually more of like a dusty, dusky pink color and you can kind of see it down at this end. And when they say jumbo for this variety, they mean jumbo. This one right here is eight pounds. This one is the small one, um, or one of the small ones. We grew one earlier this year that we were able to pick and uh, process a couple months ago, and that one was 20 pounds, so it was huge. So if you have one of these plants, you will have tons of pumpkins for, um, that you can um, process and even freeze for the winter. So today we're going to show you how we actually make the pumpkin puree. It's really easy. Um, you don't have to worry about um, using the pumpkin puree when you actually make it because I'm going to show you how to freeze it as well. To make pumpkin puree, start by chopping up the pumpkin into large pieces to be roasted. To do that, start by cutting the pumpkin in half. And depending on the size of your pumpkin, this can be a little tricky, so be careful. Once you have the pumpkin in half, scoop out the inside seeds and all the guts. You can keep the seeds and roast them too. Once the seeds and guts are gone, cut the halves into a few pieces. Put the pieces cut side up onto a cookie sheet or a roasting pan, something with sides since sometimes there's quite a bit of liquid that comes out of the pumpkin as it roasts. Drizzle with a little oil to keep them moist while roasting and then put the trays into a 400 degree oven. Depending on the size of the pieces, this will take about 30 minutes. Once the pumpkin is soft, take it out and let it cool. Once it's cool, remove the skins. In a lot of spots, it'll just come right off, but in some places you might need to use a knife. Now you'll make the puree. Put the pumpkin chunks into a blender, or you can use a food processor, or even mash it by hand with a potato masher, and blend it until it's fairly smooth and there are no chunks left. At this point, the puree can be used in your pumpkin recipes. I like to freeze the pumpkin puree so I can use it throughout the year. I scoop about two cups into a freezer bag, then lay it flat to freeze. Just keep in mind when you do this that it'll become a little watery once you thaw it out, so you end up with a little less than two cups once you drain that water off. And that's it, you've made pumpkin puree.